What's going on you lot? This is the second part of the series about history of fighting games. Let me pick it back up where I left off last time. Perhaps the most famous of all fighting games is Street Fighter 2. But not many people actually played or even seen the original Street Fighter. It was released by Capcom in 1987. To be honest, it was rubbish. Controls are virtually non-existent even though you control your character with joystick and six buttons. Like in its younger brother, but unfortunately it's not that polished. Your character can do some special moves, but the horrible controls prevent you from using them. <laughs> Sequel to the International Karate. You can fight two opponents at the same time. This was the first game to introduce this kind of fighting style. As the name suggests, this game is based on the film with the same name. Well, the only similar aspect of the game with the film is actually only the name. It's a side-scrolling BMR for Nintendo Entertainment System with boss fights at the end of the level. Don't expect anything similar to the movie. Second part was released the same year for Amiga, by a different company with a completely different gameplay. It was similar to International Karate. I'm not sure if this monster looks like Mike Tyson, but the title of the game says so. Good news though, Mario had been cast as well. Another boxing game based on a movie is Rocky. At least he looks like an actual person. The Big KO is a KO for anybody who dares to play it. It looks really terrible and the gameplay is even worse. Some pretty crappy games were released this year, but nothing compares to this. Maybe only this. This is the first game using anthropomorphic animals as fighters. One of the most famous BM ups was released this year Double Dragon. It was the first BM up game to feature co op gameplay.
You could also pick up various weapons of the ground or take it from an enemy. Chinese Exorcist was quite an interesting game. It wasn't very fun to play, it was utter rubbish to be exact, but it was the first fighting game that introduced motion capture of clay figurines. Motion capture was quite horrible though, which made the game almost unplayable. And now for some boxing games, there's a ton of them. The final round is a boxing game with sort of RPG element, where you can allocate skill points between speed, power and stamina, which actually affects your boxer's behaviour. Final blow looks pretty good and moves are nicely animated, but the game is a bit of a mess. You can hardly follow what's going on on the screen. This is just utter garbage. Speaking about garbage... Kageki isn't exactly a boxing game, it's more like a gang street fighting, but it's kind of fun. Graphics may seem a bit weird with these big heads, but it's got its charm. Some games from this year had pretty awesome moves. This is a sequel of The Way of the Exploding Fist. Others, however, were pure rubbish. I'm not gonna torture you anymore, this is the last game I've got for this year. I'm sure all of you know this excellent side-scoring up game. You can choose from three characters, each with different moves and different strength. If the axe or sword is not enough, get on the back of the dragon or whatever it's supposed to be. Another BMUP was released this year, Street Smart. It's SNK's first fighting game, here you can choose only between two characters, fast karate man and slow but powerful wrestler. This is also the first game to feature a simple combo system. Budokan is a tournament based fighting game where you compete in four martial arts Kendo, Nunchaku, Bo, Karate. I can still remember sounds coming out of PC speaker while playing the game when I was a kid. This sounds a bit better. Origin released Windwalker, a sequel to Mobius. Again, it was an RPG combined with one on one fighting style. This was the first fighting game with Marvel characters. And some extremely crappy game came out this year as well. Human Killing Machine doesn't even need commentary.
I don't want to know who or what made Activision to create this. Lots of games were based on famous films or shows, like Fist of the North Star. Japanese loved the show. I'm not sure about the game though. And this list would have been complete without some wrestling game. This is supposed to look like Hulk Hogan, but Sega didn't have proper rights and they had to change the title screen for the next release. And another one. And of course, we can't forget about Bruce Lee. This is last game for 1989. I'll cover 90s next time. See you in the next video.